Hi, I'm Joe, and here's Sam, and this is how we built the Rep Cambered Swiss Bar. So why a cambered Swiss bar? First, it's a variation to your training. If you're doing the same thing all the time, it's gonna get stale and it's gonna help take care of that. Two, it's easier on the shoulders. If you're somebody who benches a lot, you know your shoulders can get tight. Changing up using a neutral grip or another variation is a really, really good way to be able to still hit the motions and have it feel a lot better. Three, whether you're somebody who's looking for a little bit more range, maybe to help you out of the bottom on a bench press, or somebody who has limited range, this bar is gonna be able to take care of you in either way. Four, we know if you have a home gym, you're limited on space. What we have done is we've created a bar that you can use for a ton of different exercises and is really gonna be worth the amount of space that it takes up. We're gonna show you some now. So here's a brief list of all the motions you can do with this bar. So we have bench press, shoulder press, push-ups, pull-ups, seal rows, body weight rows, bent over rows, hammer curls, skull crushers or tricep extensions, and hip thrusts. And then if you put the removable eye bolt in, you can use it for all sorts of movements on your cable machine, like lap pull downs, rows, mid rows, low rows, curls. And keep in mind, you can flip this bar around so you can do all of these movements in both bar directions and with all of these different grips. And that will increase the amount of exercises you can do exponentially. You'll notice that we have three different grip options. Now, the reason we have three grip options is we wanted to first optimize the feel, make sure that it feels right in every position. Secondly, we wanted to make sure that there was enough room for your hands. We didn't want to have any issues where you feel cramped and you, can, you have to think about something other than getting the best bench that you can. You'll notice that the first position has a little bit more severe of an angle. Now this is because you need to make sure that your elbows are going to be able to clear. If you've ever done something like a diamond push-up, you'll know you're not doing it straight. You don't want your elbows to hit your body. You wanna actually have a nice comfortable flare that makes the motion feel very natural. So the next grip out is a little bit wider. So it's gonna have a little less focus on the tricep and a little bit more on the chest and more like a standard push-up or a standard bench. Now you'll notice that the angle isn't quite as severe. That's because it doesn't need to be. We wanna ensure that you have the right stack between the wrist, the forearm, that everything feels right, but at the same time, you don't need to be flaring your elbows excessively. So what we did is we angled it, what we feel to be perfect, where you're not gonna have any issue with clearance and you're gonna have the right feel for the bench press. The other purpose of a cambered bar is to have a pendulum effect. So if your hands are above the weight, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a tendency for the bar to swing back and forth. What this does is it helps build stability. So if you're somebody who gets loose in a bench press, if you're somebody who loses lat tightness in general, this is really, really gonna help you because you're gonna have to squeeze very, very tight to ensure that you stay locked in. Additionally, if you're somebody who benches and you find your wrists kind of folding back, this is going to help you. The nature of the bar and the instability that is intentional with the bar causes you to have to squeeze really, really tight. So you're gonna strengthen those muscles and you're gonna get really, really used to holding your wrist straight in the bench press, which is really gonna help you perform better and hit better numbers. If you're doing standard bench press, everybody knows that over time, like it starts to wear. So being able to have something where you use a neutral grip, give your shoulders some relief is really helpful. Additionally, when you are in those lower positions, it's gonna make it a lot safer on your shoulders. Talking about the bench press, you could be using it for a speed bench where you pull down really hard and hit your chest, or even a heavy bench where it's gonna make contact. We went through a couple iterations and we tried a bunch of different materials. We tried plate steel, we tried a square stock, and then we all ultimately landed with a round two. So when it makes contact with your chest, it's more comfortable. It means that you can focus on the motion, you can work on the speed bench, you can work on your heavy bench, and that's the last thing on your mind. So another feature we've added to this bar is knurling on all the handles. We've also decided to coat it in a black textured powder coat so that it feels like there's plenty of grip. Have you ever gone to re-rack a heavy bench press and you hit your plates on one of the uprights? Well, what we did to avoid this is we optimized the length of this bar by giving you a large landing zone so you can re-rack this without a second thought on our racks and 49 inch racks. 
So now this is a cambered bar, and one of the things that is inherent with the design is that it's gonna rotate. So we tried to think about the right amount of camber so that you still get all the benefits of a cambered bar without it wanting to rotate down and kill you. We designed this bar so that it weighs 45 pounds, so it's directly comparable to a standard barbell. Some other specialty bars weigh less, so you have to add smaller plates to get it to the 45 pounds that you're used to. So let's talk about the sleeves. First of all, we made sure that they're coated in hard chrome, which is a very durable coating and it's very smooth. So it's easy to slide the plates on and off and you're not gonna wear it out over time. We also have added it to the landing zone, so you're not gonna scratch any paint or anything when you're re-racking the bar. So now the sleeves are a standard 50 millimeters in diameter. So this means you can just use your standard collars and you don't have to buy expensive specialty collars to keep your weights in place. We made sure that this bar was very well balanced, so you don't have to worry about it flipping over. So not only did we design the bar, but we spent a lot of time designing the packaging as well. We wanted to make sure that this bar has the best chance of showing up at your door in perfect condition. So we've added large pieces of foam on each end to prevent the sleeves from shifting during transit. We've also made the whole exterior of the box, both the lid and the base, out of triple wall cardboard. In addition to that, we've added some cardboard on the sides and underneath the bar to protect it during transit. All of this means that we've spent a lot of time trying to make sure that this bar arrives perfect. So while we were developing this bar, we brought in a product testing group of 20 people local to us in Colorado who all have home gyms. What we did is we had them use the bar in many different scenarios and situations, and we had them tell us what they liked about it, what they didn't like, and we took their feedback and we turned the bar into what it is today. Thank you for watching. We're really excited to bring this bar to life. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our Denver-based customer service team. And we're really excited to get this bar in your hands, and we hope it takes your training to the next level. That was great. That was perfect. Smooth.